Good morning. It's early on a Sunday morning and it's dry. It's meant to rain today and I'm off to run. It's grim up north. Day two of the Christmas cracker. So there will be some people here today who have run all different distances yesterday. Maybe some of them doing the marathon yesterday and today. Yesterday was park run day so I couldn't do that marathon. And actually the weather yesterday was horrific. <laughs> so kudos to anyone who ran then. Park run was one of the wettest I've ever done yesterday, definitely couldn't have filmed that. But I've dropped Poppy off at her friend's this morning, woken up the household, because obviously it's only runners that are up at this time on a Sunday morning. And I'm here in Kirk still, heading down to registration. I've got a stinking cold. Don't know if I'm gonna make it today, but the course is really good because we start, it's on the canal, we head in towards Leeds, and we do 5k into Leeds and then 5k back to the start point before then going out 10 miles back 10 miles. Why have I switched between miles and kilometres? Anyway, to make up a marathon. <laughs> Plus an extra 2k somewhere. So that's the route. What it does mean is that if I am feeling horrific, then I'll be back at the start after 10k. So hopefully it's not going to be a DNF, but there is that option. I've got waterproof socks on, they're making my shoes too small. Again, I can always take those off after 10K. There's slight risk of flooding. Hopefully the trails aren't going to be too wet, but let's go and find out. There's lots of different race distances today, so it looked like there was a big queue, but that's for the races that start half an hour later than us. So hardly any queue for the marathon, just a few of us here. Season ticket, no allergies? No. I've got my race number, I've got my chip. This chip is so wet. This chip had an adventure yesterday. <laughs> uh, and the queue behind me for the later races, going to get myself sorted out. There's a really nice buzz here at the start. So yeah, just need to get my brain in gear. You know when you've got a cold and you're just like, can't wake up. Lots of cakes and treats for the finish. And I was a bit confused because the sausages are already being cooked. But these guys have been here since the crack of dawn. And there's already... A 5k that's finished or finishing. A few runners are still um, heading off. The finish line is just up there. It's funny when there's lots of distances because everyone doing the marathon is like, what have we done? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Especially because there's people in fancy dress for the shorter distances. Well done! Some people finishing the 5k behind me. That does make me excited though. Can't wait to be at the finish line. It is going to be in a lot of hours time though. Ooh, so there's half ultra, <coughs> full, 20 miles, 10 miles, 10k, and the 5k is done. Ultra, full, half. Ultra, full, half, starting oh. first. Everyone else <laughs> starting later. Right, we'll start. <laughs> right, <then>. Nice list. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we're on the nice list. Right. Those who've run Grimby Park, from Kirkstall, everything with marathon in the title, so ultra full and half, all set off towards Leeds. All other distances set off away from Leeds. You are going to set off this side of the timing mat here, and you're going to head towards Leeds. You are running three miles to Leeds, three miles back. The halves, then you're going to go three and a bit, three and a bit. The full, you're going to carry on and do 10 mile and 10 mile back. And ultra, once you've done the 3-3, three, 10-10, three, ten, ten, you're going to do the 3-3 three and three again. <laughs> Hooray, <laughs> please, they're not doing that. Hands up, 10Ks. So you're starting that side. Ooh, nearly everyone's doing the 10K. And then when everyone's finished, at the finish line there, grab your medal, and then over to the gazebo here. Sausages, and for today only, it is mandatory that you eat 
Oh no, I don't like mince pies. <laughs> no. <laughs> right then. So, we're going to wait a minute two. Ultra, full, and half marathon here, please. And we'll get you off. Amazing. Let's get ready to go. Start line's there. It's just started raining. This does not bode well for hours and hours out here. Hopefully it'll stop. It's not going to stop. I think I'll hang back a little bit. The half marathon can sprint off. Started my Garmin. Off we go. Thank you, guys. Oh, as the rain starts to fall, <laughs> time to perfection. It's properly raining now. Well, I didn't want to start in the rain, and the rain didn't start until the 10 second countdown, so that's all counts, I reckon. A few people have just headed on their way back who are, oh, leave the puddle, who are doing the marathon, who are on an early start. We've got different coloured numbers, so anyone with a blue number, here's the marathon. Morning. They said it's road shoes. I've put road shoes on. I've put waterproof socks on as well. There is not space in my road shoes for a pair of extra socks. So we'll see if my toes forgive me at the end. I want warm, dry feet. <laughs> it's been pretty sociable so far. Lots of regular runners, not in the race, just out on the Sunday morning run. Leeds Liverpool Canal is a pretty popular running destination. Morning, case in point. So this race, I've entered this today because I bought a bundle of seven marathon tickets with Grim Up North because I wanted to do the seven, mar seven marathons in seven days, but they didn't end up holding that this year. So I had a load of marathon tickets that I needed to use. So I entered this and their reply email was, yes, of course, we we'll get you entered for that race. But then they also said, you may be interested to know that in March, we are doing five marathons in five days. So hooray, that is my goal for early next year. I've entered the five and five. That gives me something to train for, a little bit of focus. So really looking forward to that. And it's around lots of the reservoirs in North Yorkshire. So it'll be beautiful and I'll love it. I was really enjoying the rain. I got really hot, took my waterproof off. Was amazed to have remembered to wear arm warmers today so I can easily go down to a short sleeve. I am hot, but the rain is falling heavily now. So it might be time to put the camera away, protect it. Hopefully this will pass. I don't know what that noise was, something from that factory over there. <laughs> Get this first 10k done and then reassess. I feel like absolute crap. My chest feels really heavy. It feels difficult to breathe. Probably shouldn't be running. Need to run for my run streak anyway. I'm gonna do this first 10k. It'll either lift off my chest and I'll feel better or I'll pull out. We shall see. Just get this first 10k done and then I can assess. Heading into the center of Leeds now. Well done guys. It poured and poured and poured. Well done. So I put the camera away. The half marathon leading pack came past. It looks like they're going to have a good race. And I put my waterproof on and everything else. Obviously the rain has completely stopped now, so I'm boiling. I might have to change that in a minute. Well done, guys. I think it's going to be one of those days where there's no right layers. Well done. But this bit's really lovely, really sociable as we head to the turnaround point of this first 10k part. Well done. This is the turnaround point. I feel the need to touch it. And we're heading back. That is amazing. Are you doing that for the full marathon? I am, yeah. It's me. 90th marathon. 90th marathon, 90th marathon. amazing. Yes, aren't we all? You're yeah. a, doing a lot better than I am. And juggling. That is amazing. Awesome effort. Loving the tiger too. 
Oh yes! <laughs> Did you say you've already dropped one in? No, <laughs> on a previous one. <laughs> well, awesome effort, keep up the good work. Happy 90th! Just come under a bridge and I can now see the start finish. I don't feel amazing, but I don't feel too bad either. So definitely gonna carry on, which is a massive boost. I don't feel like my chest is tight in the way that I wouldn't run. Oh, I am tired though, I think. I'm gonna put a podcast on or something. Keep myself amused, it's completely dried up. I've taken my cap off. I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. Not a breath of wind, it's really still day. So, longest 10K ever done. Let's get this, uh, let's get to this first checkpoint and sort myself out. I'm actually a bit hungry. 10K finishes coming across the line. <laughs> Hello, see you soon. Oh, I don't know if it's helping me that these guys are finishing. <laughs> right, checkpoint. So I just switched my bottle at the checkpoint. I'd left one there so I could just easily switch it and didn't have to bother refilling. I've grabbed a bit of cake. Cake makes me happy. <laughs> It's actually really lovely that everyone is coming back finishing. So nice to be able to cheer people in. Even if they're nearly there and we have, well done, we've sort of only just begun the hard work. 10 miles out and 10 miles back. Well done guys. Of course, the great thing about running with a cold and feeling terrible is that I've totally forgotten about my dodgy knee. I haven't rested coming into this race because I'm just treating it like a long, slow run. Not the slower the better, because I don't want to be out for too long, but yeah, literally just a training run. Just out to enjoy it. And if the weather stays like this, that would be amazing. This is sort of the first time I've thought about my knee though. Six miles in, awesome. So, 20 miles. Can I do it? Let's hope so. Eight and a half miles in. Feeling good, actually. I just had a Freddo, so maybe that is why. Chatting to Sam and Sam doing their first half and first full. So that's an ace to have some company, it really does make a difference. Still feeling like a long day out, but the rain started and then stopped again, so feel like we might be lucky today. Hello. Coming up to the checkpoint. Mm, oh, I think I want cake. More cake. I'm eating all of the cakes and sweet things today. I've picked up a biscuit, some fudge and another thing of chocolate, what's it called, chocolate log, chocolate Swiss rolly thing. It's amazing. Not going to be a healthy day though, is it? <laughs> Actually, I've got some trail mix in my bag, so if I get properly hungry, I'll have some of that, something healthy. Coming up to the turnaround point for the half. So half Sam will be turning back, full Sam will be carrying on. I will be carrying on. Uh, <laughs> Half marathon turnaround. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Onwards. Super excited to see Hillary on course. Well done, Hillary. Awesome. Well done. Yay. We've run straight through the next checkpoint. They were like, Do you want anything? Do you need anything? I was like, Oh, have you got any crisps? They had cheese and onion crisps. So, going to eat a bag of cheese and onion crisps. We've just walked up a hill with some locks and I don't know what these guys are doing but they're banging a drum and they're in a boat. <laughs> it looks a lot of fun. <laughs> Morning! Oh, maybe they're coming back past in a minute. Oh, amazing. Well done. Thank you. Marathon runner on his way back. We started to see some of the 20 milers on their way back. Maybe the first three. Males and females. Oh, the drum started again. I wonder what they're doing. If you know, actually, pop it in the comments and let me know. Coming up to the turnaround point in Saltaire. So that'll be 16-ish miles. Then just 10 miles to go back along the canal. Back to the finish. Not feeling too bad, actually. Sam, on his first marathon, has pushed ahead. Good on him. He's doing amazingly. Yeah and um, just taking it steady. I don't know whether to say or not. Probably jinxing it. 
my knee feels good. The strength training is working. Loads of glutes, loads of quads. Um, happy knee, please stay happy for the next, oh, don't trip over, for the next 10-ish miles. And then, I'll be so happy. You're doing amazingly, where's the tiger? He's, he's with the short about five miles. Oh, away. you lost <laughs> him. <laughs> well done, keep up the good work. Just coming up to the turn round point up here. Just gonna have a bit of a think about what I need from the checkpoint. Need a bit of water, need a bit of food. Need to get on my way, need to not spend too long chatting. What I always do. <laughs> well done, Sam, <laughs> smashing it. Well done. Awesome, well done. Here we are at the turnaround. Hooray! Hello there. What are we? What are we? Don't know what I want. <laughs> Hooray, I'm running home now. 10 miles to go. That is the bonus of this route. Because that feels like halfway. But I haven't got a half marathon to run. Only 10 miles. Yeah, massive psychological boost. Got some Ritz crackers. They're vegetarian, which is ace. Often checkpoints have, what's the word? Mini cheddars. But I don't think they're vegetarian still. There wasn't any Coke, so I must get some Coke from one of the next checkpoints because energy wise I'm flagging a little bit got my little bottle to fill up with coke so I'll hunt that down on the way back my watch has just beeped 19 miles so I'm throwing in a walk break these runs on the canal are nice you know there's not turns and stopping and hills but you do then get the monotony of movement of road running so I'd started running like this rather than like and uh, when you switch your core off when your shoulders drop when your legs are shuffling that's when my knees vul vulnerable why can't I say vulnerable that's when my knees vulnerable so can't afford to be running like that so the plan eating some love hearts a bit of a sugar boost and then I'll start running again and what I'm gonna do so what I do if I feel like I'm running tired is attach some helium balloons to my head so in my mind I'm going to attach like 20 helium balloons to the top of my head and that's just going to make me stand up lift up through the crown of my head engage my core again and do some good running technique because just because I'm out for a long slow run it doesn't have to be a shuffle or a plod or a jog I can still have good running form so that's what I'm going to go for so it's not a, like oh, a give up walk break it's like a mental reset, so I'm going to have a bit of sugar and then think about my technique so that I am not sort of jogging along with my shoulders down, my head down. That's not what I want. I don't actually like running in a cap. Something about that makes me drop my head. This is miserable weather. <laughs> like, let's be fair, it's not stopped raining now for hours. But uh, yeah, less than, what did I say we're at? 19 miles. It's only about seven miles to go now. so. That seems super achievable. We've got, I haven't had a lock for ages. We've got a few locks on the way back because that'll be some nice downhill. Just be mindful of my knee, but I'm doing it. So feeling super, super, super happy. The strength work is paying off. I've just got to get this knee to the finish without messing it up. It was risky coming in. I had cross country race last Sunday. Then I ran eight miles on Wednesday night at the XO race and had a PT session on Thursday. So I've really not rested coming into this. So I'm just mindful of that. Anyway, quick walk break, some refueling and then some good running technique on the way back. I'm just over 21 miles in. There's not been a checkpoint since the turnaround point at 16 miles. Um, and I can see some coke on the table. I'm so ready for that. I am still in a bit of an energy low. The love hearts were not enough. Oh, maybe they'll be crisps as well. I'm hungry, but it stopped raining. I've taken my cap off, so I'm feeling happy. Hello, you've got Coke. I'm so excited. Yeah, thank you so much. Obviously, because I took my cap off, it has started pouring down, but I'm happy. So I have sugar and caffeine. And that's woken me up and there's less than five miles to go so feeling a bit more switched on now oh coke is so
so good when you're running long distance. Oh, there's nothing like it. Like, I don't like taking gels. If I'm doing a really short race and it's, you know, serious, then fair enough, there's a place for them. But gels on marathons, I just, I can't. I don't enjoy them. I want to enjoy life and eat cake, drink Coke on my marathons and have a bit of trail mix and be healthy too. But, you know, Coke and cake. <laughs> oh, I'm going left to avoid this big puddle. Coming up to another checkpoint. All right, it's only a couple of miles between these. This is the last one, I think. Thank you. Um, do you have Coke? Have you got any Coke? I've got Coke. Oh, yay. I've refilled my Coke. It's stopped raining. The cap's come off. Just a park one to go. I can do this. I love things like that, where you're not sure if you should be running or not. If it had gone straight onto my chest when I started running, would have pulled out at 10k or before but it's lifted off my chest and it's made me feel loads better actually to come out and I'm only 5k away from completing a marathon I say 5k trail marathons are never 26.2 it'll be like 27 or 27 and a half but not too far to go either way and it started raining again <laughs> two miles from the end I just stopped actually and took off my waterproof socks I was getting a real hot spot on the ball of my left foot and I don't want to finish with blisters so I've taken those off. Oh, it feels so nice now so I can enjoy these last few miles. Into the last mile, I'm feeling good. Doing most of today I've been singing, um, running a marathon with a cold in the rain, feeling like rubbish but that's not the word that I said in my head. Running a marathon with the cars because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Which isn't the positivity that I usually go for when I'm running, but it has teared me up today. But um, right now, in my head is, and I'm feeling good. Da -da, da -da. That on repeat, loving this last mile. Just at 26.2 miles now, five hours. I sort of had six hours in my head of like, don't ask anything from your knee. Just get round, don't get injured. Last marathon of the year, you have to get round without setting yourself back. So, really, really pleased with that. Couple of bridges, and I think we're there. Cannot wait. Feeling so happy now. It's just about stopped raining. In fact, there's one little patch of blue sky up there. Can't be bothered to take my cap off again now. Let's get to the finish. I'm pretty sure this is the final bridge. So just to run into the finish. <laughs> so excited. There we go. Finish line just there. Thank you. Just need to get over this line and beep. Couldn't be happy about that. Stopped my Garmin. Um, oh, I need to take my chip off. I, oh yeah, actually, there's a washing up bowl of manky wet chips. I'll take that off. Swap it for a medal. Right, let's take this off. There we go. Yay! Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Oh, it's an amazing medal. Look at that Christmas cracker. <gasps> Loving it. I've been dreaming about a veggie sausage for two hours. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> okay, so because the forecast was miserable, I put a hot water bottle in a down jacket for afterwards with a full change of base layer. Obviously, my shorts and stuff are still wet. My feet are wet, but I'm warm and dry. I've got a veggie hot dog with onions and all of the sauce. So happy right now. Just saying bye to these guys. There's the last few people come in. I've eaten my hot dog. Oh, I'm sort of spearing my hat on the trees. Oh, I'm starting to get cold. Even though I've got lots of clothes on. Is this car coming? Um, oh, I did it! I'm just 
so I'm buzzing. I am buzzing. That's not something I'd normally say. I'm not from Manchester, but um, I'm so excited to have done that, feeling strong, and my knee is fine. Don't call it a comeback, but the strength work is working. No knee pain. Hooray, runner's knee can do one. I'm back in the van and just need to warm up a bit now. Completely lost my hands. But, oh, so thankful for the little bit of warmth left in my hot water bottle. It makes me super grateful to all of the marshals out today. It's been a completely grim weekend weather-wise. At least today was slightly better than yesterday. I do not know how Hilary got back out today to run. She did the 10 miler, but did the marathon yesterday and all that rain. Such an inspiration, just absolutely incredible. I really needed today. I didn't put a podcast on in the end. I was alone with my thoughts and yeah, it was really good for me. Last marathon of the year. So focusing now on those five in five days in March. Need to get strong for that. Strength is free speed, as they say. So yeah. Focus in the gym, let's get ready for that. I've had a really tough time recently, so I did really need this run today. I split up with my partner about a month ago now, totally unexpectedly. He became physical in an argument, totally out of the blue, and yeah, it's really messed with my head. Like the fact that somebody that loves you can physically hurt you, blow my mind, and yeah i don't know it's made me have all these weird feelings of shame and embarrassment that i haven't really known how to deal with so navigating breakups is always difficult isn't it totally heartbroken but i'm a month on so trying to stay positive keep achieving things and yeah get in a positive place to go into next year really but today was important for me, so I'm very pleased that this awful cold didn't sit on my chest. It's allowed me to run a marathon, and my knee. I wasn't even worried about my knee going into it, because I was like, oh, am I gonna make myself really poorly because of my cold? Yeah, so just feeling very grateful. Thankful, grateful. Huge thanks to Grim Up North for today's event. Huge thanks to you guys for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Couldn't film as much as I normally do because it was just so wet. Cap on, cap off, cap on, cap off. That was like my run today. Kept my jacket on though, it was a cold one. Anyway, all of the usual things. Give the video a like if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe for more running adventures. Oh, this Saturday, it is my 650th park run and I'm at Woodhouse Moor Park Run. Brooks are doing their park run tour. So I'm gonna try some of their new amazing shoes on. Hopefully they'll make me run super fast. We shall see. Anyway, take care guys and I will see you soon.